Hi there. Today I'm going to be taking an in-depth look into the blind spot cameras. Um, I started using them, found them very useful, um, but I started wondering what area to the side and to the back of the car can they actually see? How far out do they go? And how much of the blind spot do they really cover? So that's going to be the goal of the video today, but I'll just mention first off some of my impressions of the camera. If Obviously, if you put your turn signal on, the camera will appear if you have the option enabled. And you might wonder, since the camera image appears underneath the graphic of the car there, um, won't it be confusing because you're not going to really know um, which side you're looking at? Um, so I can address that. That's one thing that I wondered. It, is it going to be obvious you know, where I'm looking? And the answer, to me at least, is yes, because when I put on my left turn signal, like this, it has the car on the right side of the image, and it's obviously mirrored, just like the regular mirror would be. So when you put your left turn signal on, you're already kind of expecting to see what you would normally see on the left mirror, left side mirror. When you put your right signal on like this, you're automatically, your brain is automatically thinking I'm looking on the right side of the car because your hand just made that gesture to turn right. So I don't find any problem with that at all. But the one thing that I kind of wondered about is, you know, I can see now that if I put the left turn signal on, I can see my son's car on that side of the driveway and I can see a certain amount over to the right. But I'd like to kind of get a, a, a picture in my mind of how far it can see. And, um, We'll talk about that a little bit. Um, the other thing I want to mention is it, it's useful to me because um, I have my mirror, my side mirror set up the wrong way. Um, everybody says that you should set your mirrors so that you can't see down the side of the car. There, there are videos that, that show you how to do it to eliminate blind spots using your mirror. But to me, that's not my goal, is to eliminate the blind spot. I want my mirrors to do what I need them to do. And one of the things that I don't need the mirrors to do is to cover the whole blind spot. I, I don't need that. I, I need, more often, I need to be able to look down the side of the car because when I look in the rear view mirror, right now you're just gonna see me and you know the house next door, but Normally, when you look in the rear view mirror, you see the car behind you. And if it's, even if it's not a bigger car, even if it's the same size as yours, you might have a problem seeing what's behind it. But especially if you have an SUV or a truck, which is probably more than half the time, you can only see the car that's directly behind you. You can't see the traffic behind that. So I like to keep my mirrors set so that when I look out this mirror, I can see the cars behind the one that's directly behind me. Because... I, I know that people can come in hot sometimes and they can, you know, hit the car behind you and push it into you. And believe it or not, that's happened three times to my daughter. So maybe I'm a little more sensitive to it than some people. But what I like to do is when I'm at a light, I look in the mirror and I see the SUV that's immediately behind me. And that's it. I look over in this mirror and because I have it set to just clip the edge of the car... I can see past the car behind me to the one behind that and even the one by behind that. I looked at it today and I could see like a quarter of a mile down the road um, and see a bunch of cars lined up through the mirror with it set that way. Uh, and if I look in the rear view, the only thing I could see is the, the hood and the windshield and the top of the car behind me because it was blocking everything. So that's just my preference. I like to set it this way and I will not adjust it to the recommended way that um, eliminates your blind spot because like I said that's not my concern I can easily turn I can turn my head um, which is what I've been trained to do which I've done all my life before I actually go over a lane I'll just turn my head and check the blind spot and to me that's a lot easier than if I have my mirrors set the way people say you're supposed to have them set to see behind you you're going to have to tilt your head all the way over to the to the side of the window here and then look out and then you can see down the edge of the car or you're going to have to sit up like this and tilt your head 
over lean over to the right like this to be able to see down the edge of the car behind you that way no i'd rather my rear view side mirrors be able to see behind me um because that's that's my priority so obviously this is a great use if you have your mirrors set the way i do like i said i like to be able to see behind me so when i put on my signal now now what i do is I'll still look over my shoulder and check, and this here, this um, blind spot camera, is just a confirmation for me. So if I'm trying to get over the right lane, I'll I'll check that mirror. I'll turn my head. I'll check I'll check uh, my blind spot manually, like I've always done. Put my right signal on, and then I'll look down here to confirm while I'm making the lane change. Lane change. So it's just an an added confirmation. Um, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get out of the car and I'm going to go like this, for example, and I'm going to look at how much the camera can see. And I'm going to lay down caution tape on the ground at an angle that is angled down the, the far most edge away from the car so that I can see what angle that is, how much those cameras can see. So let me do that now. I've set up caution tape on both sides of my car and you can see it out here laying on the ground and on the other side laying on the ground and that marks the angle that is the forwardmost edge of what the camera can see. So if we turn on the left signal like this we can see in the blind spot camera there you can see the tape laying on the ground on the left, very left hand side there which cuts that side of the frame. And the other side of the frame is obviously the edge of the car. So it can see anywhere from straight back down the edge of the car all the way over to the yellow tape. Now let me hit the right turn signal. And as you can see, there's yellow tape on that side as well. So on that side, you can see anywhere from straight back, which is this side of the frame, all the way over to the yellow tape. So let's take a look now from above and see what that looks like. See how much that camera can actually pick up on both sides. Okay, one final thing I want to do is demonstrate the, the blind spots. Um, I've set this situation up. I put a trash can, a recycle can, in my blind spot. So if I look here, and there's nothing. It's clear behind me. I just see the, the house next door. If I check here, nothing behind me. If I check here, there's nothing behind me on that side either. Everything looks clear. But if I put on my left turn signal, you can see clearly that there's a trash can sitting right in my blind spot and I put that trash can even with the back bumper and over one lane where where a car would be if they were just starting to overtake you behind you so that trash can obviously um, let me turn this off so it's not constantly blinking um, obviously I, I check here don't see anything check that mirror don't see anything check this mirror don't see anything but you know I'm gonna turn my head and, and look back here and see oh there's this case a trash can but there's a car there and I won't I won't go but um, what I'm actually gonna do is put on my turn signal and then before I actually start making the maneuver and going over to the left one lane I'll look down here and confirm and I'll say oh no there's something there I'm, I can't go over right now but I, I want you to see that trash can looks like it's back further than it really is. So you have to kind of get used to the view here. It, it looks like you're pretty much safe to go over because it looks like it's behind the car. And I think part of that is because, again, I'll turn that off for a second so it's not making that noise. Part of that, I think, is because the blind spot cameras are on the front, uh, right behind the front wheels. So they're forward a little bit. And this makes it look like that 
trash can is actually maybe six feet behind the car. But in reality, I put that dead even with the back my back bumper. In other words, this side, the near side of the trash can is dead even with the back bumper. But it doesn't look like that. It looks like it's behind my car a little. So I would encourage you to just keep an eye on this and don't don't use it for anything other than confirmation. So you just just take a look at this. It looks like the trash can's back further than it is. Just note that and and after you use it for a while, you'll you'll figure that out. But you can see where the trash can is there and then you can see where it really is. You know, that's how close it is to the car. But in here it looks further back. That's the camera. That's actual. Looking out the the window. That's camera. And that's window. So you can see that the trash can is actually closer than, than you think it is. And the, that will happen with cars too. So I've heard about people um, starting to move over thinking that, oh, that car is behind me. I got enough room. And they really don't. So... You know, don't depend on it, especially right away, until you get a gauge on the distancing. And then you can, uh, you know, kind of go from there. It's just a confirmation. This confirmation, let me do a right signal this time. That confirmation there is just uh, another check. The same way that an arrow on your side view mirror would be a check. So... Hopefully that will uh, give you some information and give you more of a pictorial view of how much those um, blind spot cameras can see. For me, I was pretty surprised um, because like I said, me with them set, my side mirror set the old style way. I can't see that trash can, but the, the blind spot camera not only shows the trash can, it shows way over to the side. I mean, you you're definitely not going to have a blind spot looking at the blind spot camera because you know this is straightforward and if I just turn my head this way I can see the tape on the ground and that's the edge of the tape's a little bit crooked now but you get the idea so that's why using a blind spot camera there is no blind spot because when you turn your head to look you can see in front or to the right of that line, which marks where the blind spot camera can see. The blind spot camera can see everything to the left of that yellow caution tape. And when you turn your head, you can obviously see to the right of the caution tape. So the fact that the two overlap means that there's no blind spot. But you just have to get used to the fact that when you turn the turn signal on, let's take one more look at that trash can. I mean, the trash can is right there. It's, it's pretty close. I can tell from looking out the window that the trash can is pretty even with my back bumper. When I put the blind spot camera on, make a left turn signal indicator, the trash can looks like it's like half a car length behind my car. And again, I think that's because if you look at the right side of the car, you can see the right side of this uh, view. You can see the left side of the car there in the camera and it's the fact that the camera is all the way forward. The camera, pardon the jerkiness while I get out. The camera is right there. So the camera is seeing down that, down that line and it's right there. And the camera, the focal length of the camera plus the fact that it's on the front of the car and it's seeing all the way back you know, when, when you look with your, your head in the car, you see the trash can right there. But now when, we, when I move my camera down to where the, the uh, side view camera is for the blind spot, the, the uh, trash can looks like it's further away because the camera is so far toward the front of the car. So here's the view from the camera itself and the view of the trash can from where your head would be looks a lot closer. So I think that'll about wrap it up. Um, thanks for watching. Hope this was useful.